Welcome to another episode of Why the Frack Do They Matter. I'm Lucio. And I'm George. And today, we're going to let you take a little peek into our dream mirrors. As we're going to talk uh, about some dreams we've had. Maybe some other stuff. Yeah. I just wanted to get that awkward silence. You didn't like Moon reference? No, I did. I just, oh, okay. I just wanted to make it awkward like I wasn't actually here. So... <laughs> um. I'll also be playing the role of George. Hey, uh, hi, it's George. Yeah. Uh-huh. I hate you. Uh-huh. That is not delicious. Anyway, so yeah, dreams. Dreams. I don't have a soul, so I don't dream. So Well, I rented a soul, so I had three dreams. Um, wow, three back to back. dreams. Yes. And then I'm going to return the soul because it just doesn't work for me. Okay. I can probably make something up. But I've decided that I'm also going to tell us the meaning of our dreams. Oh my god, that'd be fun. Okay, I'll definitely make something good up then. All right. So, uh, to start off. George. Yes. How's your day, bitch? It's okay. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how to describe my day. I actually. are, Are you mad about the lady who didn't comb her hair? I'm more mad that she was carrying out a coach purse, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but she obviously didn't buy the coach purse. I'm, I'm still thinking that it was a couch purse, you know, how they misspell things. Like, I bought a pair of Oakleys one time from the flea market, but upon closer looking at the little logo, it would, they were actually Oakies. <laughs> so I'm saying her purse was a couch purse. All right, it'll be couch, because uh, she was all kinds of, I don't know, I just, I don't really, I don't know. She, she bothered me. Her aesthetic bothered me. In the words of uh, one of my favorite drag queens, she was rock, paper, fucked up. Yeah. She really yeah. was. She was a very... She was a nice person, though. Sure. Uh, I don't know. She was ordering Subway. <laughs> uh, no, it was an okay day. I slept in, so I haven't done that in a really long time. So I stayed in my bed till like 10, 10.30. Mm. And then I cleaned my house. And then I went and picked you up, and we did some shopping for your anniversary. And yay, we had lunch at Subway. So happy yay. anniversary, team. Uh, it's his and John, not his and ours, because he doesn't remember when we started hanging out, and he's a dick. It was on the Titanic, is where we first met. Are you saying I'm as fat as Kate Winslet? Just because we were on the Titanic doesn't mean you were fat. Are you calling me the iceberg? Unless you were the iceberg. <laughs> bitch, I hate you. All right, well, you brought it up. <gasps> no, I didn't. Anyway, how was your day? <laughs> it was good. I was actually up at 7 for some odd reason. I don't know uh, why, but I made coffee, I made breakfast, and I gamed a little, and then we went shopping. Sorry, I was yawning. Well, now I have to do it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still so tired. I slept. And I stayed up. You slept too much. Maybe. It is a Sunday, and usually, so it's a, you know, it's an episode premiere day. So, on Saturday nights, I usually stay up until midnight, just to make sure everything launches for the next day. And then I just happen to be, like, just up until, like, after one, and that was not good. Gotta stop doing that. Yeah. All right. Did you dream anything last night? No, I just hurt my shoulder. I slept wrong. Real wrong. I don't remember if I had a dream last night. Anyways. I got three dreams for you. Fine. They're going to be gorgeous. Uh, I'm already (laughs) scared. All right. I'm going to start off with the sad one. Okay. I like sad dreams. So after my mother passed away, um, I'm going to say about a month after that, I had a dream that I was in the backyard and I was watering the grass and playing with the dogs like I always do or always did. And uh, in my dream, the back door opened. And it was my mother, and she was wearing this red polka dotted dress that she wore for everything because it was her favorite dress in the whole entire world. (laughs) And she was carrying a suitcase. And she looked at me, and she said, you're going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. And then she turned around, and she walked away. I 
burped. But I didn't know what that meant at the time. How old were you? Oh, God. Thirteen. Oh, shit. You were a teenager. I was, uh, was I thirteen? She passed away in 93. Quick, do math for me. I was born in 84. She passed away in 93. Is that 11? You were born in 84. 84. <laughs> Is that what you said? You no, know, I said 83. But yes, I was born in 84. And she passed away in 93. Yes. So you were nine? Nine? Nine. Yeah, okay. So I was nine. That's a big gap between nine uh, and 13. Yeah, well, I mean, I went to West Mesa. Did you have... Uh, Okay. They don't teach us how to count there. Obviously, okay. They teach us how to do our eyebrows and hide blades in our hair. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. Okay, finish. I'm sorry. (laughs) No, that's fine. the wrong way. Um, So, little baby, tiny, itty-bitty Lucio took that as, uh, you know, that was just my mom, as she said in the dream, just saying that everything's going to be okay. Of course it wasn't. (laughs) 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 But it got better, and, you know... I'm only a little jacked up now. A little. Yeah. Isn't that sad? Are you sad now? Why do you have to do that to me? Because oh, I love you. Uh, ugh. I'll have... No. Okay. Anyway. Uh, well, that was a sad dream. Well, I guess it wasn't that sad. It wasn't really sad. It was kind of like a, one of those make you feel better about life type of dreams. Yeah. It I think the situation of strength. I think the the situation of your mom passing away was the sadder part of it. But it's nice that you had that kind of, at least mental closure. What are your other two dreams? Because I really don't think I dream all that much. And if I do, my dreams are usually superficial. But I'm going to steal other people's dreams. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to random dream generate? No, actually. Um, As I told you, we're going to look up dream meanings. Okay. So this one here from the interwebs, www.interwebs.com forward slash net dot gov says um, psychologically this is often seen as a way of coping with grief and whether you experience the dream as a real interaction with the deceased or if you'd rather see it as beneficial process for you at the moment well then dreams about this and then in quotations deceased person might symbolize that you are saying goodbye so that was I guess my way of being able to say goodbye because during the funeral, I just cried. Oh, yeah. sat in my chair. Well, because you were so young. I was a baby. I would probably do the same thing even now. <laughs> probably. All right. You got a dream for us? I'm thinking. Or do you want me to unload all of my rock, paper, fucked up brain on you? Unload first, and then we can go into mine, because I'm really trying to regress. <laughs> I'm trying to regress here, and I don't, I'm not pulling anything out. You're not ready to go that far back. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm really just having a hard time remembering any dreams. <laughs> Or if there's any that might be entertaining. Oh, let's see. I eat a lot in my dreams. Ooh, here's a good one. When I started going through puberty and started realizing that I was a a homosexual, we had this one hot, young, like 26, 27-year-old teacher uh, in middle school. So I was in eighth grade. I don't know how old I am then. Um, But (laughs) I had the hots for Mr. Duran. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be Mr. Duran's friend. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, one night I had a dream that we were stipping uglies. <laughs> oh, my. It was glorious, glorious, until I got to school, and I had to kind of look at him, and then I didn't want to look at him anymore. I don't know why I felt embarrassed, but, yeah, it was a little embarrassing for me. <laughs> I was like... Hi, Mr. Duran. <laughs> I just had a dream that we made babies. Yeah. Do you want to marry me? No one wants to marry you. And I think we all know what a sex dream means. Should I look it up anyways? Well, yeah, because, you know, I mean, maybe because it's an older father figure type thing. You didn't have a daddy, so you want to make him your daddy? Ooh, maybe. Or you had a daddy who was just not a sex good daddy. Sex dreams with older man. And he gets mad at me because I look up on the internet. About the guy who got away... Not attracted to in real life. I just think it means you have daddy issues. About your friend's husband. Oh, I have had dirty dreams like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. I mean, I've had dirty dreams. Yeah, none of the, this website didn't help. Well, they we're just going to say you have daddy issues. I oh, think you have daddy you. issues. Mixed with your hormones of the time. Oh, 
crush. Here we go. What does it mean to dream of a teacher crush? Uh, this is boring. It just says, you may be in love with someone you believe is smarter than you, which is actually probably true. Everybody's smarter than me. That's fine. Or maybe you actually, you're actually in love with someone in authority. I like mine better. Yeah, we can go with daddy issues. I mean, go ahead. Daddy issues. I had a dream once that I was a serial killer. Ooh, fun. I can either say it now or you could finish your third story. Oh, I like my third story. All right, then let's let's go on with your third story and then we'll talk about how I kill you. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> this one's also from back when I was E.T. B.T. small. Um, so really into the Power Rangers. Favorite show ever. Loved it. Wanted to be one. Wanted to just eat, sleep, and drink Power Rangers. Well, one night, I had a dream that the original team, original five team, uh, they came to pick me up in the little rat bug. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, uh, Billy the Blue Ranger was leaving. <clears throat> so I was going to be the new Blue Ranger. But this whole dream, he wouldn't let me assume the power. <laughs> so this whole dream, I had to run around fighting with them unmorphed because Billy wouldn't give me his powers. <laughs> so you were this little kid. Yes. Fighting putties. Yes. And piloting the Megazord with everyone else but unmorphed because he wouldn't let me freaking morph. What did the inside of the Megazord look like? I'm curious. Just like it does on the show. Was there buttons in front of you or was it just cardboard? Well, no. See, because... <laughs> Were you watching Since yourself? Billy didn't give up his seat in the Megazord. I had to stand behind Jason. So I just did the arm movements with them. <laughs> Maybe it's because he was already the homosexual on the team and he didn't want to give it up to another homosexual. Whatever. That's a possibility. I still dream hate him. I dream love him. I real love and him. And I guarantee too. we're not going to be able to find that dream meaning on the internet, so... It's, I'm just going to assume that it's, since it was mini bitty, itty bitty Lucio didn't like living with his parents or his dad, that I wanted more power so I can get away. Maybe. What do you think? I think it was just an overactive imagine of a young kid that enjoyed watching his... It was his, yeah, it was a way of escape. You shaped your sideburn incorrectly. Which one? There's a oh. big gap right there. Eh. I'm just not noticing it. That's fine. But that's what I think. I guess I could agree with you. It's the way of escape. Yay! And yeah, you still don't get to go where you want. I know, <laughs> and I still can't morph, goddammit. I had a dream that I slaughtered my entire family. That's sexy. Ooh. But we were like, okay, so we were like, it was like, we were in Mexico. So we weren't here, we were at my grandmother's house. Were you part house. of the cartel? No, 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 no. So it was like a little farmhouse. So, you know, no real, like, electricity, everything, candlelight, whatever. And I don't remember the actual act of killing them. I remember waking up and they're all... I remember being in the dream and they're just all dead and I'm covered in blood. <laughs> and I'm, like, 14. So it's like the start of a horror movie. Yeah, exactly. it drops you into that scene. And then I go into the little kitchenette type thing. It's like this... And there's, like, a dirt floor. And then I sit there and I drink my water and then I wake up. Huh. That's the only dream I can remember... That was from my youth that was odd. All right. Because most of my dreams, I'll be honest with you, are just like if I'm going through my regular day. Oh, I hate those. So I'm I like... when I dream about work and then I wake up and have to go, go to work. work. Yeah. Because I'm like, fuck, I just did eight hours. I don't want to do it again. Yep. I, I work. I eat, sleep, my work. So analyze that. All right. I should have bought an energy What drink. does it mean when you dream about killing family members? No, I don't like this site. <laughs> What do you think it means? Not even looking at the set. Let's interpret our own dreams how we feel they are. What do you think it means? I think it means you're a psychopath and I should probably get a new co-host. I'm not a psychopath. I've never once harmed an animal. Yeah, because you're going to skip and go straight to people. I'm okay with that, though. But, I okay, I don't actually know that I'm the one that killed them, though. Oh, that's true. Maybe I, you were just, ooh, maybe your mind was just starring in your own, like, horror mystery movie. Maybe. It was just odd. They were all dead. I was covered in blood. And I go and I sit in the little kitchen and I drink my water. And then that's it. <laughs> and the water was in this, like, white tin cup. A white tin cup. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Because my grandmother used to have, like, tin 
plates and tin cups and things like that. And everybody was dead, your everybody. grandmother included. She wasn't there. It was just oh, my okay. family, like my okay. me, like my parents and my brothers. Maybe what your dream meant is that you don't like your family. You just like your grandmother, and you just wanted to live with her. So you wish they could just go away. Maybe I did like living there, or I did like the time we spent there. Ooh. Look, um, murder in a dream me could mean important and significant relationships have been severed. Or that you are trying to disconnect yourself from your emotions. So that death is a metaphor for you trying <laughs> to deaden your emotions. Bitch, you started young. I didn't get, I didn't, mm, this didn't happen to me until I was in my 20s. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well then see, I've been, I've been, I'm, I'm good then. My emotions are kind of dead, aren't they? Maybe that's why I don't really dream or remember dreams or even have like you know interesting dreams oh my god i really succeeded in killing myself on the inside yay all right then i don't really have any other dreams what do you mean you don't have any other dreams like like i said most of my what does it mean to like dream of your regular day like i don't really dream of anything you're so boring it's because i'm dead inside we just established this I'm going to put a little barbecue pit in your stomach mm. so it'll act like like fuel for your life. No. And then I'll just cook a really good steak. <laughs> I was like, I'm hungry now again. I just no, And we just I ate. No. You know what? I'm not happy with the subway. Mm-mm. Did it hurt your stomach? A little bit. Mine is fine. I'm eating my feelings, I think. Aw. But I don't really have feelings, so I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've had dreams where like like people that I've been dating leave me oh yeah I've had those ones and it doesn't affect me yeah it doesn't I'm like oh okay well bye it was nice knowing you and then of course I mean I've had sex dreams before too I don't remember who they are I don't even think they're real people they're just like Doctor Who mannequin dolls well no they, they're like they ha- they're like fully formed people they're like, I think they're just what my brain thinks of as a fantasy <gasps> They're like your create a character on a video game? Yes. That's hot. And most of them have long hair and like really like dark skin and like. So you can pull that up, just get a good grip of hair in your hand and pull it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of that, you know what? Let's, let's, let's splice this episode. Let's, let's move into, uh, uh, let's bring some hot, hot video game and anime, uh, mins. Ooh, like our dream mins from the video games? Sure. Okay. It'll be gorgeous. Delicious. All right. So I have ten for each. Oh, oh my gosh. But I think you said you had ten all together. No, I had five for each. For each? For like, so I have like five of my like, anim- I didn't bring my, I don't have my list. Okay. So I, I can wing ten. I can okay. make ten work. Okay. I can talk about men all day. It's okay. fine. Yeah, we don't have an issue. <laughs> right. So I broke mine down into video game and animal. I was saying, in my brain, I had video game and animu and like regular people and like superheroes. Regular and people, superheroes, and, like oh, like like whoa. stars, like stars, Oof, like I'm sure, I can like humans. That. All right, let's go. So, do your do do your five regular people. Okay, so my number one will always be Rob Lowe, because <laughs> Rob Lowe is hot and he'll always be hot and he just I don't know that man just has like perfectly chiseled features and. That's my fantasy right there. Um, excuse me. I like Ezra Miller. But Ezra Miller from uh, Wallflower. He's also the Flash in the new uh, Justice League oh, movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, I that's know who his, that is. Yeah. He's, he's wonderfully gay, and I love that about him. Oh, Candy Can. I think he's super sexy. Oh, I know who that is. He's an he Austrian. Me that. Yeah, an Austrian rapper who just loves to dress in pink, but he's got, like, beefy, beefy, beefy body. Uh, Ashley Parker, Angel. He is a so back in the early two thousands there was like a TV show to create like a boy group, and the boy group that was formed was called O Town. Oh, I remember O Town. And he was the blonde with the fucking like three mile high hair. Okay. So he cut the hair, he worked on the body, and he's like, and he pays. He's in. He's in. He's in, he, he's in Wicked. <laughs> he's so amazing in Wicked. So that I like Ashley Parker Angel, and then. Who else do I like? Who else is like daddy to me? Oh, um, he's actually a cosplayer. 
and his name is Jay Stryker, and he's... <laughs> I'm over him. So, I'm not. I will never get over him because he has that muscle right in the groin area. Uh, it's the like G. a G. vein. No, 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 it's not even muscle. It's a vein. You could see his vein, and I'm like, like if I pushed on it, all the blood would stop flowing there. Or increase it. Ooh, gross. So, I'm about that. He has a nice butt, too. Dirty. So, I'm not over him. I'm far from over him. He's okay. delicious. Let's see if I can pump out five. <laughs> <laughs> pump. pump. Let's see if I can, uh,. It was five you did, right? I did five. All mm-hmm. right, so... And then the five can do me. <laughs> Stephen Amell. Okay. From Arrow. Yeah, hot. Um, let's see, Joey Fat One. Because I, I love Joey Fat <laughs> That's One. Fine. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> Own it. Own I don't it. know what it is. I just, I want his fat one. <laughs> <laughs> He's not bad looking. I, I can see it. He's cute. God, my brain. Okay, right when the real people when yes. they're re- see, and is that like what does that say about us that we don't fantasize about like obtainable, like real not obtainable Ugh. men, but at least human men. Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, what are some TV shows you're watching Ooh, right now? Actually, you know what? Ben Affleck as Batman now, older Batman. Batfleck. We're not friends. Oh yes. Oh no. Mm. No, then we're gonna go with what's his face that was Superman. <gasps> I, can't, I, I can't forget. I can't believe I forgot about Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's a fictional character. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that doesn't count. But he has that long hair. You like? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Okay, so I already forgot who I named. Batflick. Yes. And hmm, what are TV shows that I'm watching right now? That are not animated. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that one dude, the lead from the Netflix show, You. Um, ooh, he's sexy. I know I shouldn't, like... Well, the person is sexy. The character on the show is not sexy. That's okay. Um, Penn Bag- Bagley? Let me show you. Bagley? That. Yeah, maybe. Oh! He's delicious. He has that sunken face thing I like. Penn Bagley? Bodgley is what I'm going to say. Bodgley, yeah. Okay. So that's number four. You watch a lot of superhero movies. Are you one of those Jason Momoa fans? No. Mm-mm. He needs to shave. I don't and then need I'd be that. A fan. I don't need that in my life. Well, okay, I could do Chris Evans. Oh, yeah. I could do Chris yeah. Evans, too. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> He's hot. He is very cute. I like him. Yeah. I liked him. There was a movie he did with Reese Witherspoon that was a really good one where she was a ghost. More- Oh no! And she was haunting the apartment. I saw the one where he did with uh, Kirsten Dunst, and he's all dancing in his chonies. It's cute. It's a cute movie. I don't remember which one it was. I don't know that one either. I can't think of it. I just remember him dancing in his chonies, and I was like, (laughs) "Hi!" All right, there's my five: Arrow, Batfleck, Hulk, Joey Fat One, and the dude from the Netflix show, Pen. Yes, Pen. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Do you think he wants to join my Pen 15 Club? Do you not remember that? No. Where you'd ask people if they wanted to join the Pen 15 Club, no. and then they'd be like, yeah! And then you'd write penis on their hand, because it was P E N. Is that why they named the S. show Pen 15? There's a show Pen 15? Yes, and it's so fucking funny. It's a Hulu original, and it's called oh, Pen 15. I'm going to need to watch that. And it's about these two girls like entering middle school, and it's just, it's it's the first episode had me fucked up. It was so funny. Oh, you need gonna, to watch oh, it. I'm going to. Oh my god, it's the best thing. That's exciting. Ever. I'm very excited for oh this. Oh my god, now I get it. The Pen 15. Okay, yes. I get it now. Now it makes sense with the show Penis. Okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the next theme? Um... We could go video games or animu. That doesn't matter. Either one, we can do both. All right. And I meant category, not theme, I guess. Oh. Your water tastes interesting. Yeah, I like it. I don't like it from the sink. I have to do the filter. Believe me, if you were to do from the sink. I don't do from the sink. Yeah. I've never done from the sink. Nothing's have left my parents' house. But he's done it in the sink. I have. The bathroom sink. <laughs> <laughs> Did your dongle go down the drain? <laughs> I wasn't the one over it. Oh, did his dongle go down the drain? <laughs> I was holding on to it. It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if we're going video games, uh, I have a lot. I have a lot. I'm just going to name them all because they're all hot. Are you, how many are you doing? I'm doing ten. Okay. You don't have to do ten. I was going to say, I don't know if I can. <laughs> That's fine. 
I'm, I'm like, a gamer. I'll, I'm like, I can get gangbanged by the Mortal Kombat roster, <laughs> and I'm fine. <laughs> okay, so I got I got to show you pictures of these as I go along, so you can understand. Okay, so you know, so my number ten is Carmen Cole. <clears throat> uh, he is part of the SNK uh, fighting game franchise known as Art of Fighting, um, and he's very like businessman daddy oh he looks like like one of those old russian spies yeah a little bit a little bit a little bit i'm all for that excuse me okay all right my number nine is kyle hyde uh from hotel dusk a ds game okay he's like i can see it i can see a what's going on i can yeah. see like a yeah. theme already and uh don't worry listeners I will do one of those fancy 10 posts on the Instagrams so you can see all the moons. <laughs> I guess I'll do the same. You'll enjoy it. Okay, so my number eight is Johnny Cage, but the one who was played by Jason, or no, Christopher Alexander. Um, he's the second actor that played Johnny Cage after the first one left. He really hasn't done anything since, so you only get to see his video game um, avatar, but right below it you can see the original Johnny Cage, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. The original okay. from the bottom. Okay, yeah. That's, so you want the original one? No, no, no. No, you want the top one? I was yes. Like, oh, I can see the muscle. Yeah. Yeah. I like him. That was gorgeous. He makes me delicious. <laughs> Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Number seven is Belfear from Final Fantasy twelve. Oh, he's so gay. I love it. Mm -hmm. Now he's somebody I can get into. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've already showed you my number six, which is Ryu from Street Fighter V with his beard. Oh, yeah. You have a thing for beards. I do. Ooh. Ooh. Just a deliciousness. It, ooh. Yes. Daddy. Mm. All right. And then, uh, what number am I on? Five? Yes. All right. It's Chris Redfield, but not like jacked up, um, steroided Chris Redfield from five and six. It's his uh, one from the Resident Evil 1 HD remake. Oh, he, he's all sweet and innocent looking with the big mm -hmm. old ears. Yeah. He's cute there. Yeah. That's that one. Um, the next one, which is what, four? Yes. I try to stick to one person per series. I didn't want to because if not, like you said, the whole Mortal Kombat roster. <laughs> 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 um, the next one is Chuck Green from Dead Rising 2. I may not have to show you pictures of mine. You may know most of mine. Oh, he looks like very methy. And I know that <laughs> that's a thing for you. You know I like when uh, they look like they're coming off of meth, you know, just out of rehab. Oof. I don't know what it is. It's a look. I just want to shake a, a baggie full of powder in front of their face and be like, come to dirty. <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> Delicious, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, number, what are we on? Three? Yes. Number three is Ethan Mars from Heavy Rain. Oh, I still haven't played picture. that, and I know you want me to play it. Oh. Yeah. And then he does the whole shower scene. You can see his butt. It's gorgeous. I like butts. I'm a big fan of butts. All right. And then I already showed you my number two, which is Commander Shepard. Yes. From Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. And then uh, number one is Alistair from Dragon Edge. I'm going to find a better picture. Because you're right. His face did look derpy in that one. <laughs> so i gotta show, I got to show you a better one. Uh, he's doing the weird eyebrow, but this this is a little bit better. It's less like... Meh. And I mean, he like has him. a really gay face, which I'm really about. Yeah, yeah. I love that about All right. him. That's my video game... Top Dream ten. men. Dream men? Yes. <laughs> so I have... I guess only five, because... I don't know. <laughs> my, well, number five is Takeda Te from Mortal Kombat 10. But in the costume where it exposes his belly. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's he's definitely one. Um, Dante, but from DMC. The reboot, yeah. the alternate universe? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I see that. That's I, I love that, Dante. <laughs> um, <laughs> Link from The Legend of Zelda, but 
Let me get you a good picture. There is this picture of him where he does like this, uh, he's like a lawn care guy. I can't find it right now. Is it the one... I have it hanging on my wall upstairs. <laughs> is it the one where it makes his package look like extremely huge? Yeah. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Let me see here. Oh my, those are not photos I needed to see. <laughs> Did you just roll 34 Link? <laughs> well, these aren't Link. These are just... I think these guys are named Link. Oh, But, <laughs> but they're just they're just men mowing lawns without okay. their shirts. And I just think I found my next, you know, <laughs> my, my next dream I'm going to have here. I'm going to go just start... What, what am I on now? Number... Those you know three? what? I'm distracted now. <laughs> Did you look up Link Lawn? That was... Yeah, I'm going to, but you distracted me again. Um, so that was number three. Now I'm I, now all I can think about is the men's mowing the lawn. I don't think I search the same thing as you. I actually just have like people like mowing the lawn. There are no shirtless men's here. My Google's like, nope. You cannot see my whatever. Google. Ooh, I like your Google. I like that one. <laughs> God, I like him nerdy. Oh, of course you would pick. He has a nice donk though. He does. <laughs> You're done with my Google now. Okay. Okay. Oh, see, I just put Link mowing lawn, not Link shirtless lawn. Link shirtless lawn. All right. Maybe if Our I throw... podcast is now just going to be us looking at Link shirtless lawn mowing people. Enjoy our... <laughs> or, yeah. Yeah. and then, uh, there it is, I found it. That's the link I love. Yeah, that's the one. I'll be sharing that on Instagram. <laughs> but uh, also when Link is dressed up as a female in Breath of the Wild... Where he's in the Gerudo garb, right? Because he like, has, that's the only way he can get in. Yep, I'm like that. That that's a sexy link. Um, what other video game characters do I like? I know I need to try to avoid because again, the Mortal Kombat roster. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually liked uh, was it Seraph Final Fantasy? No. Let's see. So the men in Final Fantasy. What Final Fantasy was it from? Seven. Seven. So you had Cloud, spiky hair. Not Cloud. I know who you Cloud is. You had Sid, the older man who always smoking a cigarette. Sid's hot. You had Vincent, the vampire guy. Was he the who was the one in Dirge of Cerberus? Vincent. Vincent. That's the one. Vincent. Okay. Vincent, Vincent Valentine. Vincent Valentine. All right. Because he was kind of sexy. Mm. He's kind of with really his sexy. claw hands mm. and his weird pointy boots. I think I need to go watch Dirge the, of Cerberus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then number one for video games, I would pick... Wow. Ganon. Yeah, actually, totally, but Ganon from... Uh... Ocarina? No, 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 no. He's not from any of the mainstays. He's, it's from Pyro Hero Warriors. Mm. With that big main... With fucking lion main? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you, you can just... You can, <laughs> you can just, yeah. Conquer me, Gerudo Daddy. You can put the Triforce of Power in his pedestal. On his pedestal? All over my pedestal? In between his pedestal? I may, have to, I may have to play Hyrule Heroes when I get... Hyrule Warriors when I get home. Have you seen it on the Switch? Mm-hmm. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It is. I'm still not buying a Switch yet. I haven't finished it. It's hard So, I started it on the Wii U, and then me and Nintendo broke up, so I sold my Wii U. Then I bought it on the 3DS, and I got really, really far. I, like, I completed the story, but I was going through adventure mode. And then I bought it again for the Switch, so I have to start all over again. And I'm like halfway through the story mode. And maybe like four stages into the first map of adventure mode. And this is the definitive collection, so all the DLC is just there. I know. That's why I'm kind of just like, that'll be one game I do have to get once. Mm -hmm. Once I finally take the plunge and get the Switch. Mm. Let's just go get it now. Bye, people. Thank you for joining us. Are you going to pay for it? I don't even have games that are out that I want yet. I until they tell me when Link's Awakening is you actually coming out. You can just borrow out. my games. Until they tell me when Link's Awakening is coming out. See, okay, so then I will buy it. We know it's coming out, so just buy it. No. Borrow my games until. But then. do you want to know why I want to wait till then? Oh, special edition. Yes. Didn't think about that. Yep. My bad. That's the only because when cause there's always a special edition something when Zelda comes out. That is true. Always, and if it's going to be a Switch, then I'd rather have the Switch special edition. Cause you have, don't you have the Breath of the Wild one? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Those were just those little dilly boppers. That no, but you stick on them. when you had a uh, your Wii U was the uh, yes the Wind Waker one. Yes, yes. It was. So yeah, that's why. All right, you ready to go into the world of Enemu? Yeah.
for your dream mins? Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> number 10 is going to be from Crying Freeman, and it's Ko, yes. the uh, detective. You remember where he goes and meets that girl in the closet, and she pushes her foot against his crotch, mm-hmm. and you see his his massive manhood just kind of spring out? <laughs> <laughs> I should probably Google these so you know what they look like. I know what some of these will look like, so if I don't, I'll look them up. uh, Zero from Vampire Night. You see that, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Batu, the blonde dude with the cyber eyes Mm -hmm. from Ghost in the Shell. Uh, Ren from Nana. Archer from Fate Stay Night. I don't think I, I didn't watch Fate Stay Night. Here, I'm going to show you that one, because, ooh, he's sexy. Oh, look, he's cute. Yes, very much so. I can't think of anything sexual to say to that. <laughs> Rio Taro Dojima from P4. He is the father of the little girl. I think it's your uncle of the main, the, this is the main character's uncle. Oh, look at him, he's all daddy-ish. Yeah. Yeah, he's delicious. He can give me a child anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Bard from Tales of Zestria, the Animu. I know it kind of goes into um, video game ish territory, and I don't know why I can't find a picture of him. Just think of Dojima. <laughs> no, that's fucking scary. You should let me take a picture of that. No. You look like a video game <laughs> created character gone wrong. <laughs> like the slide bar for the eyes moved them too far apart. Oh, I guess we can show that with people later. <laughs> Anyways, think uh, Dojima, just more hair on top and a bigger beard. Okay. Uh, Genjo Sanzo from Sayuki is number three. Um, Masis, I think that's how you say his name, Mace, Mas, I'm gonna, I butcher names. That's okay. Uh, Hughes from Full Metal Alchemist. Well, he's doofy looking, I like him. And then I already showed you this one, uh, Asuma from Naruto. Yes. Mm. You showed me him earlier, actually. Mm -hmm. Those are my, those are my dream anime men. I don't think I have ten put together. I have five put together. That's fine. So, I know yeah. it. Does that just mean that I'm, like, more... You know what? My eyes are whores. That's fine. Mine That's are what too. it is. It's okay. Yeah. I just don't... I don't ever remember names of anybody I'm looking at because they don't really matter to me. Mm-hmm. I just want to look at you. Mm-hmm. But with anime, so... Um, I did have one from Sailor Moon, and I, but I, 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 and it's still, I do have still one from that show, but I'm going to change who it is. And I'm going to go with... Pegasus? Um, no, Fisheye. Oh, fish eye's kind of hot. Yeah. I'm like, when you, yeah, I, I, it's got that cute little frame, and I like the long hair, and I don't know, I like the extra sissiness of him, so he's he's cute to me. Sissy that wow. Sissy. Um, number two. So you would let fish eye steal your dream mirror? Yes. Mm. Fish eye can dance for me. Uh, that was number five. Number four would be Yuta from Mermaid Saga. I don't think I've seen that. It's a Rumiko Takahashi one. You know how you know how I feel about her. Yes. Let me let me look you up some Yuta. Oh, he's cute. And he's he's got... like the big brother. Onichan. Yeah. <laughs> he's just got he's he's got these beautiful eyes and he's got dark hair and his skin's dark because he's out in the sun all the time, so he's kind of hot. Um, also from Rumiko Takahashi, number three would be Ryoga. He turns into Pichan. Pa 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 Pichan. Why don't I remember this? I'll show you his picture. That's Ryoga. Oh, okay. I know who that is. Yeah. pa 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 Uh That was my number three. I nope. have no feelings about that. <laughs> number two would have to be Spike mm. from mm-hmm. Cowboy Bebop. Yep. Because he's just, I don't know, it's just his voice and his just his look. And my number one, I would have to go with Lupin. Ooh, Lupin's hot. Mm-hmm. So, you said Spike, and you know I love to watch Let's Plays. Yes. Um, my favorite group to watch is uh, Game Grumps, and Danny, 
who I'm in love with, <laughs> from Game Grumps, actually cosplayed Spike. Ooh, look at that! Yes. He needs to be a little darker. A little bit. He needs um, some melanin. <laughs> <clears throat> but he did a good so, job. I thought I'd share that with you. I love Danny. I should have had ten. I'm pretty sure I could think of five more, but... Mm, that's okay. What? I'm distracted now. <laughs> <laughs> we still have more men's to go. Do we? What other men's did you think of? I thought of men's like like comic book and oh, okay. villain, like comic book ones. I can do comic book. Um, Cyclops. You can just do five if you want. Nightcrawler. Colossus. They're all going to be from the X-Men. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Wolverine. And Storm. Okay. She's not a men. A min. She's not a man, but Storm. But, like, not useless uh, 90s cartoon Storm. I'm talking about, like, Storm that uh, took over the power of Thor's, or took over Thor's power with his hammer, and also married What's-His-Face from Wakanda, and was queen there for a while, with the Mohawk. Okay. That's right. the Storm I'm thinking of. That's a good Storm. Oof. What is Thor's hammer's name? Ma- Ma- Majuki? I'm not a big fan of the Thor. Majinjin? Anyways. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see her like, Return to me, Kevin! <laughs> you just hear, I'm in the way! <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like Raiden. Raiden. Oh, pick it up, Something like that. <laughs> I, um, who? would I pick well if we can throw females in the mix I'm going to pick Jean Grey as the Dark Phoenix mm-hmm. uh, her Joker but Suicide Squad Joker okay any Batman ever Ooh. and Ooh. Uh, Dick Grayson Nightwing because they always draw his ass perfectly <laughs> like he's just like I'm. He's a, he's a wet dream waiting to happen and then I'm going to go with Lord Draken Oh, okay. I'm okay with that. From Power Rangers, because, yeah. So, I used to collect Marvel cards when I was younger, and DC cards, and there was one, let me see if I can find it, it was Batman defeated on the floor in a loincloth with someone standing over him. And it does not look like I can find it. Let me see. Well, that kind of goes with the whole when Batman and Robin were in the bed together. Oh, yeah. Do yourself a favor, everyone, and just Google Batman in a loincloth. You're not. (laughs) You're going to get some interesting pics here. Oh, what is that I'm looking at? Conan kills dude with his loincloth. Oh, go Conan. Oh, he strips it off. Do you remember... Golden Axe. Golden Axe? Yeah. Yes. From the Sega era? Yeah. So the dude, the the barbarian, was so hot in that. Oh, with his little blue Speedo? Yes. I was like, um, hello, Sexual Awakening. How are you? <laughs> See, people can't get mad. All this homoeroticism is just delicious. Really? I mean, you can't. Look at He-Man. <laughs> Look at Tarzan. Look at G.I. Joe. Let's look at Nightwing. Look at MMA. <laughs> Let's just keep looking at Nightwing. Okay. Oh, and Superboy was on my list. I didn't mention him. Because Superboy's so hot. And then Superman's kind of hot, too. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Kyle Renner. Green Lantern. Who became the White Lantern for a little while. I am do I not so... show you him? Yeah, because I'm not so well-versed in the Green Lantern series. So, they always do what's-his-face for Green Lantern. Oh, and I'd have sex with Deadpool. Oh, I... Yeah. Yeah. Like, totally. Like, he could even take the mask off. I don't care. <laughs> We're searching. So they always do... I forget his name, because I don't care about him. <laughs> they always do the other Green Lantern guy. The one that Ryan Reynolds played. <clears throat> Everybody's always about him. And I don't care for him. I care for Kyle Renner. I like the build. Oh, look at He's part of that rainbow one. Yeah. I need to read more comics again. Mm. I'm so behind on everything. What is his name? Dude, be. Is it Guy Guy Gardner? Hell Jordan! Ah! Is who they always do. Nobody cares about Hell Jordan. 
There was a recent DC uh, or Marvel. I can't remember one of the animated movies that came out. It was oh, shit. You know who else from DC? Constantine. Oh yeah, because he smokes and he's all dirty and he's mm-hmm. bisexual deliciousness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a super. Let me see here. Let's see. I think the Atlantis one was the newest one to come. No, the Constantine one was the newest one to come out. No, there was another movie. And then before that was <clears throat> the Reign of Superman. And this was somebody else. Thrones of Atlantis. No. Oh. It was like almost a standalone one, and he was he's he he's a, he's a gay superhero in black and mm. black and yellow. Um, 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 lightning something. Yeah. Was it black lightning? Something like that. Is it that? I think so. Look up black lightning. So I'm doing right now. Oh, wait, black lightning isn't black lightning uh, a female? You're thinking of this guy, right? Yeah. No, no. It's somebody else. I'm going to have to think about it and get back to you. I have it at home. No, no it's not black oh. lightning. Huh. Oh, well. That's All not right. important. <laughs> But have you ever had, like, dirty dreams about any of these people? Or have you ever just had... I mean, I know you had the Power Ranger dream, but have you ever had, like, like you were an anime character? <laughs> yeah, Ko. <laughs> I was the lady in the closet. <laughs> You're the lady in the closet now, though. Mm-mm. Bitch, that door is busted wide open. Give me your douche lip. I shall. It smells like grape. It is grape. Did you replace the festival like you wanted to? No, not yet, because that's a lot of liquid to waste. Yeah. Is the flavor going out now? No, not at no. all. I can taste it. I think it was just because of what I ate yesterday. What did you eat yesterday? I ate something that burnt my tongue. I don't remember what, though. I don't blow as much smoke as you do. No. Ah, okay. I'm done with that. <laughs> yeah, this one actually has nicotine. That's probably why. Yeah, I'm like, mm, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> God, I thought Kelly got inside for a minute. <laughs> oh, thanks so That's much. How she sounds when she coughs. All right, my friend. What other list did you have? I think that was it. That was it. We can think of hot men from something else. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm I. Well, we can just go through my Instagram. I'm like, mine too. Okay, we can do something like that. Uh. No, I don't want you. <laughs> Who I follow is a secret. Not me. Found him. Uh, the Ray. I don't, I don't know. I'm not familiar with The Ray. But I do remember seeing that um, on the new releases. It's DC. Mm. Freedom Fighters, The Ray. Hmm. And I have it, and I haven't watched it yet. Interesting. But, yeah, The Ray. He's a gay superhero. That's fun. I like that. <laughs> okay. Horror movie hot guys. Freddy. So... I was also Freddy is hot, so I was more thinking like victims, but we can do that too. Um, do you remember J- F- Freddy versus Jason? Yes. Jason versus Freddy, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, the douchebag who <clears throat> got squished in the bed by Jason. Yes. He was hot. I can't. Th- I can't see his face. I can see the murder scene going down. Well, that was hot too. Ugh. Freddy versus Jason cast. It was was it Jason Ritter? No, it wasn't Jason Ritter. He was in that movie though. Uh, <gasps> Jesse Hutch. Oh, what is that dude? Uh what is the movie? The Scarecrow. He swoops in and eats people in the bus. Jeepers Creepers. Yes. For the first. Oh um, no! For the second one. Oh, they were all just delicious. Uh, what is his name? There you go, Jesse Hutch. Oh, he's cute. Hi, Danny. He was very cute. I also have one from Jeepers Creepers, but it's from the first one. Justin Long. Oh, He's so yeah, cute. Nah. Then he was cute. He's still cute. It was the guy who played Izzy, and they would make fun of him. They'd be like, you know what they call it, what they call you, right? And he was like, no, what? And they were like, is he or isn't he? <laughs> like, you know, yeah. insinuating he's gay. I have not watched the new one. That one? No, Travis I not Schif- no. uh, Travis Schiffner. Yes. Let's look up pictures of him now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did not age well. No. Oh, my heart's sad. Right, oh, wait. I guess he did. He kind of did. Yeah, I guess he's all right. Oh, he really didn't age well. <laughs> but neither did we, so we're okay. That's fine. Oh, he still, still aged better than we. Cute, he's still though. cute. Yeah. yeah. I think him. there's just some bad pictures in there. That's the only one I can think of. Oh, 
Josh Hartnett from H2O. Yes. And then who else? See, they need to make more killers, like more, more. That's why I like Steepers Creepers, even though the you know the guy that directed it was a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> Is a bad man. The, at least he put like hot guys to die. Like more hot guys need to die in horror movies. True. Like, have you ever seen Hellbent? No. So it's a gay horror movie. Mm. And it's got the so the the killer is like this really hot buff dude in like a devil outfit. <laughs> All he's wearing is like he looks like Ariana Grande, like from the head up because he's got like this devil mask that looks like this guy cat that rabbit thing she wears. But it, it's 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 a good movie, and I need to find it again. Is it the one where the thing's about to get stabbed in their eye? Yes. Oh, I want to watch this. It is a good. It's actually a good movie. It's actually a good movie. I quite enjoyed it. I'm gonna see if I can watch it anywhere. Probably. Oh my Jesus! Told you, <laughs> told you. There is some dis- deliciousness in there. Oh, because they're all going to a Halloween party, so you know how you know how mm. gays do it at the Halloween party. You know party what? If no, you look I like have this. seen this movie. I recognize that mask. Oh my God, I have seen this movie. It's a good movie. Yes. For, for a horror movie, it's a good movie. I liked it a lot. I like how dreams went to hot men. Oh yeah, well, you know. Hot men rule. We could dream about them. I might have to now. Yeah, well. Because I don't want to dream about work. <laughs> you should try and change your dreams. That's what I'm talking about, hot mans. <laughs> I'm getting my question generator out. So are we done talking about hot mans for now? I think we're, we're, we're good. For now. <laughs> for now. Because I am all about revisiting this topic over and over and over again. All right. So are we going to do the usual? Yeah. Let's do the... You do your well thought out question. And I'll get my question generator going. (laughs) All right. If you came back as a ghost, whose life would you make a living hell? My sister's older brother. Alleged sister. Either way, him. Yeah, totally. All right. And I'd get him to the point where he wanted to kill himself and then stop him each time. (laughs) You? That's pretty dark. Yeah. Totally. He deserves it. He's an awful person. Um... I there's I got a list, bitch. And if I'm coming back as a ghost, I got all the time in the fucking world. Well, I will spend a week on each person and then hop on back to the next person and start all over again. Who's your one? Who's the Who's the first person you'd go do then? A piece of crap that I used to work with. I won't say names, male or female. You You know who this is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Her good life living hell. Although it probably already is. So did you just add to it? You just want to make their lives worse. That's oh, awesome. yes, That's fantastic. I do. And I mean, I'm a, mm, mm, I will hold a grudge for, for a hundred billion thousand years. <laughs> so even after she's dead, go, dip, go spit on her grave. No, I'm gonna torment her in the afterlife too. I'm gonna find you, bitch. He gonna find you, bitch. <laughs> no, once it, no, once my sister's little brother dies, then I'm fine. I'm free. He's gone. Goodbye now. <laughs> Speaking of death, what kind of old person do you want to grow up to be? We already know that. I want to be a motherfucking Jewish Yetta. You gotta convert to Judaism first, Judy. That's fine, I'll do that. I just want to be a Yetta. Spend all my time at the Jewish Community Center with all the fancy people. Yeah, you could do that. Mm -hmm. I want to retire at 65 and disappear from the world. (gasps) Gorgeous. I want everyone to think I'm dead, and I just I don't want to deal with anything anymore. I give. I'm done. I'm done. I'll be done. I'm I'm good with that. I'll have the delivery boy bring my groceries every week, along with my liquors. You know who I'm gonna be? I'm gonna be Baby Jane Hudson from whatever happened to Baby Jane. I'm gonna be Baby Jane Hudson because she's crazy and she's reclusive and she's drunk all the time. I want to be Baby Jane Hudson. Put that in your crack pipe and smoke it. I love you. Oh, uh, I'm not ever going to tell you that on the air. Apple juice, apple juice. Apple olive juice. juice. It's olive juice. <laughs> All right, Ho. I think we are good for this this episode. You know, I enjoy talking hot men's with you because at least we have some similar hot men ideas. Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, at least we get the general idea. I don't like beards and you like beards, but I think that's the major difference. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind a little face fuzz. But when you look like you've been living out in the mountains for the last 12 years... Okay, that's a little too much. Yeah, I'm like, if you, when your beard starts to go past your face... <laughs> I'm like it's like little, the dude that cut my hair? Was it long? He looked like a fucking Viking. Yeah, see, I can't do he no ZZ Top. Scary. I don't do ZZ Top. I'm not about it. If I can braid it, I don't want it. Ooh, he did. He had part of it, like, you know, 
hanging, but then he had like the back part braided. It gets in the way. I thought he was seriously gonna like fucking pull out axes and start like cutting my hair that way. It gets in the way. <laughs> anyway, all right then. How do we have anything for our listeners? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, go ahead. Where can they find us? They can find us. Well, the best place to look is Instagram, because that's where all we link everything to. And so, in that fancy, fancy, fancy description, right? They yes. They can find our link tree, which links them to our YouTube, our Podbean, our... It'll also link to our Twitter. Twit. You can have access to our RSS feed, so you can put that into any of your podcast search apps of choice. Like I, I like to use uh, Podcast Addict. Um, so yeah, go to uh, Instagram, Why the Fract Do They Matter. If you want to email us questions, ideas, nudes, again, we don't do anything from the waist down, unless it's your butt. I don't want nudes. Remember, I want men in their underwear holding pancakes. Okay, so that's what we want. Men, or holding alcohol in their underwear. Uh, but anyway, off topic, you can email us at whythefractdothematter at gmail.com. Uh, let us know your ideas. You can also comment on YouTube. That's where you can find us. Let us know what you want from us. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know if we suck, because, you know, that way we can block you. We do. We're gay. All right, ho. You ready for another time to sleep? Fucking bye. End it. Bye. Bye.